Welcome back, Dead Home with Roby. I'm Patrick McIsaac from Roby Electric, along with Trent Haston from the Roby family of companies. Trent just wrapped up with Jim Price from Audio Advice. He needs a jingle. It's not Joe, it's Jim. (laughs) (laughs) He did call himself an average Joe a couple times, but he's an average Jim. And I think he's more than average. He was above average, and he did a wonderful job. Because I'll tell you what, home automation, as much as we get involved with it from the electrical side, still is a little intimidating to me. I'll be honest with you. He made it sound all pretty simple, but yeah. He did. I don't... uh... I, I'm not a, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I say it every show, I think. I'm a brick and two by four guy, blocking two by four. So, well, well yeah. No, get a little I, I, out of my, out of my <laughs> bailiwick, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm a simple minded guy myself. Um, and, and right before the break, Trent, we talked about, um, I've got some information on baby boomers. I, I think that's a big part of our business. I know that, that Roby Construction is doing a lot of aging in place kind of things as, as folks decide to alter their home versus move into something different. And just a couple statistics here. Um, a baby boomer is between the average age of 52 and 69. Average age is 57. 75 million people, 41 million households. 41 million households 41 baby boomers. Of Out baby of boomers. how many million households in the United States of America? No, I can't answer that question. Oh, man. Come on. 41 million's a lot. How many people turn into baby boomers every day? Let's see if I can get this plan. Um, I, I don't have that information either, but I do will, will tell you that, that, that mo- most of these folks are, are thinking about renovations. I mean, if you're in this world that we're in, the renovation uh, home services business, uh, the baby boomers are, are, are a very, very viable target audience for us. And if you're not hitting those people, then, then, then you should. So basically, if you're a baby boomer, age 52, you said? It says 52 to 69. I'm not sure if that if is... If you're age the, 52 the, to 69 and you have not called the Ruby family of companies... We are here for you. you. You should feel left out. You need to make the phone call today. 704-334-5477. You think we'll get 41 million calls? I, man. Nah, just the southeast. We're only working on the southeast right now. But, but do yourself a favor. I mean, you're right. If, you, if you're not comfortable getting up on a ladder, changing the light fixture anymore, or you, you just need some help, and that's what Roby Handyman was, was created for, was really for this demographic of people that, that maybe need some help or want to take the time that they normally would spend on this type of work and, and utilize that to spend with your family. And, and uh, you know, Mike Rogers has been on here several times, and he always talks about time. I think he really does a good job of, hey, is it really worth spending three or four or five hours changing the ceiling fan when you, can, you know, call Roby and we can do it in, in 30, 45 minutes? Yeah. No, it's it's right. It's opportunity cost. Exactly. The funny thing is, uh, I went and worked out at the Y really early this morning, and I saw, uh, well, I guess he's a second cousin. He's one of my dad's first cousins, a good friend of ours. And he was walking into the Y, and I was pulling out my pickup truck. And this is a guy, he was a truck driver uh, before he retired. A, a cool cool dude bobby turner i'm giving you a shout out i don't know if you ever listened to the show but uh he's retired and then goes to the wide and he always brags to me about being retired i mean like every time i see him he talks so cool he's like man yes <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do today after my three-hour workout but he, you know he he he, he moses around the Y. it's an event i think that's pretty cool but he always keeps his vehicles very clean and I had my truck really clean today, so I was glad he, glad I saw him. You know, it was like a targeted sighting. Strategic. And he comes up to me, and he says, oh, are you, you're finishing up? And I said, yeah. I don't, you know, he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm headed to work, dude. I mean, I got to go work. Yeah. He said, that is so wonderful. Thank you for my Social Security. Please keep working. <laughs> I love my benefits. <laughs> uh, but he, he thought that, that was the joke of the day that he was giving me. But, it, but, it's, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I would say... So it's 52 to 69. He is probably on the high side of that baby boomer. But a lot of baby boomers now keep working because we're so healthy at such an older age than in the past. Uh, Buffett talking about Social Security, one of my favorite things is he said when Social Security was originally designed, it was designed to to, you started getting Social Security benefits about four years after the average a- average death age. So it was a design to build wealth for America in, in the Social Security program. Then people started living longer, living longer, living longer, and the opposite has happened. So uh, yeah. I just think that's a pretty cool fact yeah, when you course, think about it that way. You're talking about Warren Buffett, not Jimmy Buffett. I'm talking about Warren Buffett. Jimmy Buffett's happy to still be alive. He seems to have done something right. He seems to be doing something right. I've I've heard he started a retirement community while we're on the topic of baby boomers that it's called Margaritaville. 
Really? I don't know. It's one of those things that pops up on your social media. I'm not sure if it's really true or not, but I asked my wife. I said, hey, can we can we move? I could probably no. live in Margaritaville. I think I can handle that. It's I'd even good joke with my wife because we're around all these retirement yeah. communities and sure. senior living facilities and, and housing. And I'm like, man, I could live at one of these places now. I'm telling you, man. One of my buddies, uh, Luke Walker, he know well. His parents live at the villages. And the way this guy describes the villages, I'm, I could, I'm with you. I could, I could deal with that. So, Having your own golf cart, it is. It's cool. Yeah, it's and you bad. just hang out and party. Play golf. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Play games and play golf. Play bocce ball. Pickleball. Play pickleball. There you go. Uh, no, it's pretty good, and, and, and that's why that industry is so strong. The senior senior living industry is so strong. It's continuing to grow. It's obviously obviously why uh, the Roby family of companies, from all of our angles of construction and services, ha- has embraced it. We have Roby Cross as our is our senior senior living brand, um, but yeah, it's it's wonderful, and more people are moving into it every day. And these people want amenities; they want they want the good life. It's no longer to your point. I mean, people are living, thank God, a whole lot longer than, than maybe they had in, uh, generations before us. And these aren't nursing homes anymore. These these communities are are unbelievably nice. And to your point, I would live one you know, tomorrow. I mean, they're gorgeous. I mean, and everything's sort of taken care of, and it kind of gives you the opportunity to spend the time doing the things that you love. Yeah, Pulte, Pulte's new community down in Fort Mill. We're right. doing all the amenity facilities down there. Uh, Ruby Commercial is, has built those. So we're very blessed to be able to work with Pulte and be able to work in this industry. So, uh, Patrick, got any last words on the day's show? I thought it was very educational. I didn't. Go back and listen to the podcast. Learn a little bit about home automation and home control from Jim Price from Audio Advice. Uh, you can go down and see their showroom at Carolina Place Mall. They're open Monday through Friday. I think he said 10 to 7 and Saturday's 10 to 6. So, that's all I've got, Trent. Why don't you take us home? That's great. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful week. Thank you, Spring. We'll be back next Sunday, 9 to 10.